Hey, welcome back to another episode of Whisker Room. My name is David. Welcome to the channel. If it's your first time here, please smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Um, yeah, I appreciate you. Anyway, tonight we are talking about Henry McKenna Bottled and Bond. This thing, 10-year age stated whiskey, uh, right around 60 bucks most places. It is, it's interesting. It won an award a while back, and ever since then, it kind of went on this like hype train, and then people started dissing it, and well, I don't really know where the value is in this bottle at 60 bucks. It's one of the cheapest 10-year age stated $60 bottle. I mean, it's, there's not many 10-year age stated that you're going to get at 100 proof. Um, Eagle Rare is 90, and then uh, Russell's Reserve is at 10, is also 90 proof. So to get a hundred proofer or higher, sixty bucks. I mean, it seems like a pretty good deal, but is it really? Well, today we're putting it up against some legendary ten years to find out if Henry McKenna bottled and bond can actually stand up to the special bottle category, or does it really more fall into Eagle Rare and Russell's Reserve? So first up tonight we have Old Forester at nineteen twenty four. Great, great bottle that came out not too long ago. Really, really nice. Then we have Jack Daniels 10 year. This is a batch three for those that care coming in at 97 proof. Then we have an old Fitz 10 year also coming in at 100 proof. Then we have a Michter's bourbon coming in, 10 year bourbon coming in at 94.4 proof. So the question is. Can Henry McKenna actually stand up to these special 10-year bottles? Or is this really the wrong category and this should be a $40 bottle like a Russell's or an Eagle Rare? So stay tuned. We got it blind. I got it poured up. Let's get going. We have all five samples poured up here. Let's mix them up real quick. I actually don't know which is which at this point, but we'll mix them up just for the sake of storytelling and quality of YouTube content. All right. One more switch up. There we go. Let's do this. Ooh, that smells nice. Smells like it's 10 years old. Shocker there. Lots of really nice butterscotch on this one, though. I really like the nose on this. The palate on this one, little peanutty. Nice aged note. It's not as thin. Or it's a little thinner than I would have expected. The roofs aren't particularly high. But even in spite of that, this one is a little thinner and a little, the mouthfeel is not as ex intense as I would have expected from these, even the Henry McKenna. Caramel buttercream. It's pretty good. A little bit of peanut. Um, I'm thinking the McKenna or the Jack Daniels really on this one. Could be wrong there. But let's find out. Let's move on to the next one. Oh, now this one has a very, very good age note on this one. Oh, it's that musty, sweet. God, that smells really, really good. That's tremendous. Wow. Now that's what I wanted in this lineup tonight. It's a really good whiskey. It's got a little bit of that, just that absolutely delicious kind of old barrel funk that they get and it's just so good um uh, other than that there's a really nice balance of um very minor fruit a little bit of like a caramel toffee barrel oak funk that's good i like that one that's a good one. Oh, this is now we're we're we are we're hitting home runs right now Again, this one has that tin, you know, that very musty barrel, 10 year funk to it. A little bit of like a strawberry cheesecake thing going on. Absolutely delicious. Great. Oh, wow. The mouthfeel on that one is so good. Uh, good proof. I mean, all these are coming in from what, 90, 100, 194, 197. So 94 to 100. Great proof range and uh, absolutely delicious. This one, excuse me. To me, this is cheesecake, graham cracker crust, funky barrel, the funkiest, the funkiest of the funk. 
That's a good one. That's really, really nice. I really like that one. Wow. This one does not have the same funky barrel. Those two, these two both had a very, very similar nose. Very, very similar nose. This one has a nice older tasting or smelling nose, but it's not like that. A little stewed berry, a little bit of barrel oak, some char, nice proof point. The finish tends to go a little nutty on this one. Again, maybe the Henry McKenna. It's really good. This one's maybe the actually could be the Jack Daniels. This Jack Daniels 10 I just got and opened the other night. And so I don't really know what it tastes like. Same with the old fits. I haven't had that. Uh, I had that the other night, but again, it was my only pour and it's still kind of opening up. It's good. It's good. Not as good a mouthfeel as some of the other ones though, but it's still really good. Oh, now we're back into that funky barrel town. Barrel funky town? I don't know what the right thing to say is, but musty, barrel funk, little bit of that cheesecake thing, graham cracker crust again. Something special when that whiskey starts to get into that range. Nice balance of proof, spice. It's a little bit of a... um grain the mouth feels very drying for i'm so shocked by how the drying the mouth feels the sweetness is a little the mid palate on that one tends to go a little kind of oaky and almost like a charred marshmallow a little bit i'm going to go back and forth now figure out which one of these i prefer what my rankings are and when we come back we're going to see if Henry McKenna is a special whiskey or if it should be uh, really in that uh, cheaper range, that $40 range. All right, we've gone through, we, I have gone through and I've ranked them. And coming in fifth place tonight is right here. It was good. I liked it. It just didn't stand up to the specialness. So for whatever that means. Fourth place right here. Uh, again, really, really good, but it, it very similar to this one. Very different flavor profile, but this one did not taste particularly special. It was really good, and I liked it, but not special. Third place tonight right here. It's had a tremendous balance of flavors, really, really interesting, but it lacked that really kind of musty old note that made some of these really, really special. Second place right here. This one had everything that I hoped for from a 10-year ten year, ten year whiskey. It was awesome. So, so good. Super, super close to my first place tonight, which was this one. These two both had that cheesecakey, oaky, musty thing going on that signifies a truly special whiskey. So these two were standouts. This was kind of in the middle, followed by this and this. All of them were actually really, really good. I wouldn't, I mean... The retail price is on, I'm staring, staring at the bottles over here. The retail price is on all of these bottles would be a buy for sure, for sure. Even the Henry McKenna, whichever one that is, I would buy it at the retail price. Um, but is it really special? So let's find out. Let's figure out who was fifth place. We have Henry McKenna and we have a bunch of special expensive allocated bottles, which is going to come out on top. Let's find out. Number five tonight, fifth place. <laughs> So much for my video idea tonight. <laughs> Henry McKenna, fifth place. It was really good. And for the price, I would say it's really good. It doesn't taste particularly special, but it's, it's a freaking good bottle. Fourth place tonight is Old Forester 1924. It's good. It's better than Henry McKenna, but it didn't come across particularly special. When I drink it by itself, it's just phenomenal. But putting it up against some of these other ones, it just didn't hold up quite as well as I had hoped. Third place tonight is Old Fitz. That did not do as well as I thought. That's a really, really good bottle. Obviously, the gorgeous decanter. However, it did not have those special 10-year age notes like the Michters and the Jack Daniels, evidently. Second place tonight is Jack Daniels. That Jack Daniels is friggin' delicious. That did better than I expected. I was actually expecting Heaven Hill to beat it, but I was wrong. I was very, very wrong. Now, coming in first place tonight, no shocker to you who have 
you know, followed the channel for a while. Mictors coming in first place tonight. Let me double check. It's a Mictors. One of the things that is actually a little deceptive in this competition is even though Mictors 10 says Mictors 10, 10 year, it's likely that Mictors 10 is actually much, much older. The way that Mictors does their aging and their bottling, uh, Mictors 10 can actually be quite a bit older than the age statement, which is part of the reason why it's a special, special bottle. So, uh, yeah, the Jack Daniels fared better than I expected. Henry McKenna did not hold up. Even though it's a good bottle at $60, and I'd buy them at $60 if, you know, I'll have it on the shelf at $60. It's a really good Heaven Hill product, but it did not hold up to the old Fitzgerald. It didn't hold up to the 1924. I guess there's something to be said for finding some of the special bottles, because some of these are truly special. And I'm super grateful um, for the help of all of you, or some of you who helped me get a hold of some of these special bottles. Uh, because I couldn't do this channel without you and without our beautiful, beautiful Patreons. Thank you so much to our Patreon community. If you want to support us on Patreon, go to patreon.com slash whiskey row. Join to participate in our barrel picks, uh, get our barrel picks, barrel pick events, whiskey row, Royal rumble, our Sunday live streams, discord, all the other fun stuff that we do with our Patreons. So Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. If you have not, please click that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And until next time, find a bottle you love.